Hi there, welcome to the new video tutorial for Tableau and in this Tableau tutorial we will going to look at the bar race chart, uh, how you can create that in Tableau. So bar race chart have recently become very very popular in the uh, field of data visualization which is bringing uh, a lot of new visualization where people are looking at football data, population data and lots of other types of data by having them animated on a bar chart. So I just thought of uh, why not go ahead create a chart within the uh, Tableau and uh, see how we can really utilize this this type of visualization where we can flip up and down based on how the country is progressing or how let's say a team is progressing if that is a, some some uh, game team or football team or baseball team. So first of all, let's see uh, the data I'm, that I'm using is basically the COVID-19 data. It's a coronavirus data. It's a, a epidemic which is uh, recently going on across the world and many people are impacted. And over here, uh, I am using the statistic related to the confirmed cases. How many confirmed cases have increased uh, from the 22nd of March, which if I'm not wrong, let's go here. Yeah, sorry, 22nd of Jan till uh, 3rd of April. Uh, that means until yesterday, so today is 4th April. So until 3rd of April, this is the data set that I'm using. And if I just uh, go ahead and uh, animate it, you will see the animation over here. How the animation is basically working. It is quite fast right now, but if I just slow it down a little bit uh, by clicking over here, this is the fastest mode. As you can see fast, this is the normal, this is the slow mode. So I'm on the normal mode and let me just show you over here and you will see that slowly this will going to increase. Uh, the numbers will, will going to increase and it will show us a little bit in the real time that how the confirmed cases are changing based on the dates which is changing over here. So date is changing over here. Uh, you can make it more formatted as per the needs that you have. And uh, this information you will see will flip up and down based on the uh, how the dates is changing. So initially, as you would be aware that there were a lot of cases that uh, were identified in China. But uh, as uh, you know, March started, uh, March was started, a lot of new cases started coming in the different countries and Italy was the one which was hit, which got hit uh, way worse uh, after China. So Italy is uh, expanding and then Iran. So you can see that now the US is coming up uh, slowly at the third place and now the US is on the very first place by the 27 or 28 March. And US has increased significantly as compared to any other country. And right now, you have 275,000 cases uh, out there, confirmed cases in the United States as per the data reported by the um, officials. Or what I'm using is uh, the data set, I think, directly from the John Hopkins University. So I just wanted to show you uh, that how we can create this chart. And before I create, I just want uh, everybody to be safe and want to advise that be at your home. Don't try to go out because this time, this is the time where we can, if we can exercise the maximum restraint and keeping ourselves safe, it will be helpful for our future. And that's what I am doing. I have not gone outside from past, I guess, 20 or 21 days. And still we have a lockdown for another 15 or 20 days. That means up till 15th or 19th April. So. So I'm hoping that you are safe and your family is safe. All right, so let's spend the time creating this chart. Uh, so what I'll do is I will create uh, one sheet. And in this sheet, what do we need is uh, basically the confirmed cases in the column. So these are the confirmed cases. And then we have country and region by which we want so let's add all the members but what i want is i don't want all the members i want let's say top 15 or top 20 so in that case i have put the country over here in the filters and on top 
I need, let's say uh, 15 in this case, probably click apply and okay. So that I can very easily see the visualization. Otherwise there are like a lot of countries uh, where this, this epidemic has uh, spread. So, so we will just going to look at the top 15, 20 countries as per our need. All right. So that's, that's the thing we need to do first. And then what we need is basically the ranking. So what do we need is one calculated field, uh, the rank which we need. So basically it's the rank unique function and we need a rank of uh, confirmed cases. So whatever the measure of your interest, you need to provide the expression over here that you need the unique rank for these cases. So we'll click apply and we will add the our ranking over here. So you see that our ranking is uh, coming like this. So a couple of things we may need to do is first of all, compute using the country region, right? And uh, it will be discrete. All right. So now we have proper ranking, but what do we need is the name of the countries because, uh, you know, mapping this with the, these legends will not going to really help. All right. So I guess two options that we have. One is uh, looking at the label and show label mark. But what it is showing you is the number, the actual number. So that's the thing. But uh, what we need is also the country region. So let's add country region over here. So China, uh, US, Italy and all. These are like the total cases. But right now I have to put even the date over here. So this will help us doing the animation right now. It has picked up by default here, but what we need is the day. All right. And we can hide this, hide the card. Now uh, we have country region, but we can put the number of confirmed cases. So let's put the confirmed cases on the label itself and uh, change this to fit width or maybe entire view and in the presentation mode if we go and in the normal mode let's start this so this has started and you will see that's how step by step this will going to take the shape of the animated bar chart or the race bar chart by flipping the country's information up and down as it will going to progress. <clears throat> so we are at still 21st Feb, nothing much as compared to the China. So now the South Korea is appearing along with Italy as we saw earlier. So we'll see in a minute that how they are going up and down. All right, Italy is up and now Iran is up. Spain is going up. That means on rank four because we were using rank. Now suddenly US has jumped to rank three and now US is on top on the top first one. So on 27th of uh, March, or 28th of March, the US has surpassed everybody and it's like having almost double the cases compared to other countries. All right. So as you can see, this is very nice and very easy way. Nothing much that we have to do. Only thing we have to make sure is uh, we are creating the R ranking function or ranking or whatever you want to call this. Uh, if you want to hide this, like I have done, I can right click and uncheck show header. So now this information is much more visual. You can change the color palette as per your needs and uh, and uh, basically have it like more clear. Another thing probably I can do is I don't need these because we are anyway showing the information over here so we can make it much more cleaner. If you are used to of uh, showing these vertical lines or want to have these vertical lines have it. Otherwise, my recommendation is just remove it but I'll just leave it as it is because that's not the the area which I want to cover. But the main area I wanted to cover is how you can create that race bar chart within Tableau and use it as part of the dashboard. So that's what I wanted to show you and I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.